don't have any viewers, I'll just talk to myself here. Apparently. What do I do? Okay, um, there's one person here. I'm assuming it's you, Kevin. I don't know if you can leave comments, but um, I can basically open up one of these magazines. Um, or... Okay, so if there are, if there's a way to um, make a comment on which magazine or I can open up and read a magazine or we could look at the comics, um, but I definitely wanted to give you guys an inside look. Um, this comic was actually featured in the um, Dahmer show. Um, oh, I still have it in its plastic. <laughs> I'm sure I just read it once or twice when I bought it 30 years ago um, and haven't taken it out, so it should actually be in perfect condition um hopefully you can see that well i know i got kind of a glare oh yeah it's barely faded at 31 years old he's one of the most talked about men of a new decade eclipsing movie stars politicians rock stars and athletes his name has become synonymous with evil and perversion the latest villain in vogue. The pathetic excuse for a human life form sitting on a prison bunk is Jeffrey Dahmer, a serial killer. Um, this is from Boneyard Press. I have a few uh, Boneyard Press comics of Jeff. I don't want to read this whole thing. I'm hoping that I just didn't bring any water with me, and I don't have the most pleasant speaking voice. Um, I love the Dahmer drawings. Pretty good. Here it goes into Stephen Hicks. <laughs> Dahmer in the car. cold ones. A couple brewskis. Um, I don't know if you can leave comments. I don't see any comments, but if you want me to slow down or if you have another request. Um, here he is choking um, 
Steven with the barbell. They haven't showed that, I don't think, in any of the movies, um, but that's what he said happened. Um, going under into the crawl space. Chopping them up. Here he is again, drinking. Oh, here's when he got caught um, masturbating in public. He was just peeing. He didn't know nobody could see him. Am I going too slow? Um, this actually looks like it's about Connor X's brother. Yeah. When he got arrested for Connor X brother. And here we go to the boiling. Um, also, if you haven't looked at the photos, um, <laughs> Kevin, thanks, babe. Um, if you look at the photos that they have online of, um, whoa, if, uh, of the skulls that he had, um, cleaned out and everything, um, you can see the drill holes in the top of the head. Just FYI. You gotta look for those details. So yes, as I said, this is the first time I've opened this comic in probably 30 years or whatever. Um, it is in excellent condition. Um, I could see a little fading. Um, very little fading. I try, I try to preserve it as, as well as I can, you know. You gotta preserve the perverse here. Oh, bringing Conorak back and, okay, um, I know, I just want to get it closed up. I'm so, so freaked out. So anyway, that's even before um, uh, Jeff passed away. So no mention of that in there. Um, let me see if there was a date that was released. 19, June 1992. So um, a year, a year after his crimes. Um, hold on. I don't want to be rude, but I need to put my phone down so I can put this away. Kevin, I'm so glad I could see your comments. Um... Um, and with the uh, Jeffrey Dahmer comic, I have the Jeff Dahmer um, um, true crime series to serial killers and mass murderers. These are also from 92. Um, this I bought later. This I did not buy... Um, when it came out. I don't think for some reason I didn't have access to the true and kind cards. Uh, maybe I was out of the country. I, I'm not 100% sure. No, no I wasn't. I don't know why. Um, I also have this comic book. I have the um, yeah, 92 was a cool year. I have the uh, My Friend Dahmer comic. I got this uh, when it came out. Um, uh, let's see, this came out, so 
this <laughs> this Dahmer in a bag of groceries was drawn in 1977 so love that and also this Dahmer as a sorry Dahmer as a telephone pole so <laughs> Here is, um, if you were interested in, um, Durf's, uh, drawings. Here we go. Obviously it's too, too much to read, but, um, again, I preserved this, um, probably only the... second or third time it's been opened for sure in 30 years um i just keep them in these books um hoping that the air doesn't get to them Now, if you're interested more in the magazines that have actual pictures, um, I have plenty of those too. Um, my tabloid, um, I also have this cute um, young Jeff zombie squad. Jeff Dahmer versus Jesus Christ, signed by, I'm guessing, the writer or maybe the artist. Um, signed in 93, so that's cool. But um, I know a lot of people probably would be interested in this magazine. Um, this was in the Dahmer show. It's real. Um, let me see. This magazine is from February 3rd, 92. Uh, page 44. Let's see. Again, I really don't, um open these up. This will be pretty much the only time I do. Um, I just don't want to I don't want to get them um, you know destroyed. This is a awesome little thing though. Um Talking about having sex with corpses and, you know, no emotion, how he has no emotion. Um, the synthesis on phone family. Um, at a memorial service, they were Buddhists. Um, is that Joseph Bradoff? Uh, yeah. And Oliver Lacey. Um, so it was a pretty, pretty big article, um, for people. And that's the end of that, and I don't... I don't think they have any more. Um, oh, okay, here's Henry Lee Lucas. I actually have a letter um, from him. R.I.P., of course, to the victims and their families. Um, what else? 
if there's something you want to see, um, I could show you what I could show you. And if you want to see it, um, oh, okay, cool. Yes, I have the, um, I have the, uh, my friend Dahmer. That's cool. Um, again, I have the people from when he, uh, passed away. Um, if anybody wants to see that, let me know. Um, I also have this 1991, uh, August 1991, so literally a month, um, after he was arrested. We have this. They used to really mention the chocolate factory a lot. <laughs> Um, at the time, like they really thought that was the craziest thing about him. Like he worked in a what? A chocolate factory. These I did get from eBay, um, probably like t 20 years ago. Um, so I did get some, some, uh, books that were in England and Ireland um, if you want to see inside these, let me know. Um, I already showed this. So, yeah, the only thing I really can't show and open up is, um, would be my... Um tabloid papers my tabloid papers i haven't been able to preserve as nicely um they're just so big and uh um it, it was harder to find like um a photo album to keep them so this is a sticker i have one on my book over there um but yeah, these, you can see the edges um, are yellowing. Still, I would say in very good condition, um, considering this is from February 11th, 1992. Um, this might be Pamela, who was actually Jeffrey Dahmer's neighbor um, across the hall saying she shared human flesh with Dahmer. Um, that's my guess. I'm really afraid to open this one up. Um, and it doesn't say like what page it's going to be on. So, mm. okay, I'm going to do it. Let's see if it's Pam. If it's Pamela, I believe it. I believe it. Oh, here we go. So this was a full, I guess, spread, you would call it. There's Anthony Hughes. Everybody knows him. Um, everybody knows him. I'm trying to be careful. I am scared. Um, I'm trying to read this and see if this is written by... It's not saying who's telling the story. It's just saying he was a quiet guy, never caused any trouble, kept to himself. Um, he could run to McDonald's. And one day he offered to share his meatloaf sandwich with me. Oh, okay, this is somebody at work, I think. Um, <laughs> he had several of them in his lunch. So, yeah, if it's... If it's uh, somebody at his work, it, they probably made it up, is my guess. Um, but you never know. I would think they'd be more interested in finding out. Alright, so that one, like I said, I gotta be really careful with. Um, this one, I just love this in whole inquirer right here for the... Michael and Lisa Marie, Oprah. 
And this is after his death. So this is December 13th, 1994. About two weeks, two and a half weeks after he died. Somebody saying uh, he was murdered for money. I'm not going to open that. Oh, most of these are just absolute bullshit. I mean, obviously, they're tabloids. Uh, this one, the first gruesome photos of cannibal killers' human feasts. Let's see. This is from March 3rd, um, which is my birthday, 1992. So, in honor of my birthday, let's just, let's just find it. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh my god, oh my god, she's so sick, Dolly Parton is so sick. Alright, hold on, we're getting there, I have to be careful, I can't, I can't just flip through these pages, they're very, you can see, very discolored. Okay, here we go. So these actually were, um, uh, real photos of, uh, Dahmer's house, and these are like the skulls I'm saying, there, there's other... Uh, pictures of the, of different skulls and boxes and stuff, and you can see the actual um, drill um, drill points, whatever. So I think that was it. Um, it was just that one article. Might be too gruesome. Too gruesome for some people. Um, so... Yeah, if there's anything you want to see, let me know. I only have another minute or two. Um, you know, if you know, you know. If you like my, my Jeffrey doll, I don't know. I don't know too many people that have that. Uh, I don't know how how many were made. Um, I think it's, I think it's, um, uh, I don't know. I thought it had a number on it, but... Yeah, I don't think there were too many of these made. Or too many people have it um, still in the bag. Uh, I have this whole set. This was the only Dahmer one. And then I just, this is just part of my books. Um, people gifted me some coloring books. Um, I also have this Dahmer Clock O'Cox, and this is very old. This is before, um, Etsy, like, I couldn't even tell you where I got that, to be honest with you. It's so, um, old. Um, okay, there's really nobody here. Um, I guess, give me a thumbs up if you want to see actual, um, Serial killer letters. I can open that up before I put everything away. Nobody, nobody wants to see some bona fide serial killer um, letters right now. Come on. You know you want to see. You know you want to see. Okay. Um, this is Richard Ramirez, and he drew, I don't know, an exacto knife with an out, uh, print of his hand. So that is the Night Stalker, if you're not familiar with Richard Ramirez. Bonafide drawing. There we go. Um, if you're not familiar with Henry Lee Lucas, um, 
This is a handwritten letter. You know, talking about God because he just killed who knows how many people. It's from 1997, by the way. Uh, it wasn't to me, to Ken. My dad's name is Ken, wasn't my dad. Oh, okay. Probably to the guy from Supernaut. And then I have this Herbert Mullen. Um, he killed people in Florida trying to stop a earthquake. I don't remember how many people he killed, but little snowflake drawing, this little winter poem. Um, and he also um, wrote on the back. And now this is the Son of Sam, David Berkowitz. Um, this is a typed letter, but it is signed. Um, and it came with a bunch of religious uh, paraphernalia because now he is the son of hope. He's not the son of Sam. <laughs> no. Born again. Hey, you want to be born again? Just go to prison for murder and you can be born again. Hooray. Um, anything else that you would want to see? Um, obviously I showed most everything on, um, showed most everything on my, um, videos, but, uh, you know, there might be something you want to see more detail of. Um, I used to have a big bomber poster in my room. I just took it down um, because I'm moving. I have... What else? These are like my... These are the videos that I had taped um, and put on my page that were me taping when I was in eighth grade. You know what eighth graders love nothing more than gay cannibal necrophilia killers and. That's what I did, and that's what I collected instead of flowers. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mamas. But, um, I am just so excited that the show came out and that people are now discovering and, like, getting to find out about the story. And, um... I recommend if, if you've only seen um, the new Netflix Dahmer, I would watch the Jeremy Renner um, Dahmer movie. Definitely. But, all right. Thank you for joining my live and adios.